So what we need to do to solve this equation is substitute y equals 3 into there. So 2x plus 3 equals 11. So minus 3 from both sides. And you get 2x equals 11 minus 3, which is 8. And then you can divide by 2 to get the answer of x equals 4. Using the same logic, we're now going to work out another question here using the substitution method. So in this situation, you can still label these equation 1 and equation 2, but the wording or the way you're going to explain it is going to be different. So you're going to say sub 1 into 2, which basically means substitute this into here. Now what you have to remember, y equals x plus 2. So if y equals x plus 2, you're just going to substitute that directly into here. Alright, so you're going to have x plus x plus 2 equals 20. Then you can simplify this, that's 2x plus 2 equals 20 minus the 2 from both sides. You get 2x equals to 18 and therefore x equals 9. Once you've got an answer for x, you can substitute that back into equation 1 just to check if it's correct. So what I'm going to do is um, y equals x plus 2, y equals 9 plus 2, so y equals 11. So if y is 11, I've now got an answer for x, I've also got an answer for y. The final thing that you need to do is sub x equals 9, y equals 11 into 2. So that's basically equation 2. So we're going to have x plus y equals 20. Let's check that's 9 plus 11 equals 20. And as you can see, that balances. So our solutions are x equals 9 and y equals 11 for these two simultaneous equations.